Anthony carries on regardless, ignoring Galton's reaction. His next move is to whip air in before adding the spice mixture. Don't you put too much of that in. I want it quite strong, because I know Thanks. the Queen is made of sterner stuff. <laughs> she's going to have to have a, a gut like iron when she's had that. The last stage is to wrap the butter. Sealing it will help the flavours to blend before it's used. Where's the butter going to go? I will take you through it gently. Yes, come on. Now, do you need a chair? <laughs> no, no, okay, no, no. Now, what we do is we take our mussels. Yep. From those mussels, we get wonderful juices, which we strain. We then reduce those juices down in a pan. Right. And then we monte, or finish it, with this Cab Fé de Paris butter and a little bit of tomato passata. And then we add our shellfish. We just add that into the butter. Nappé, French word, nappé, over the salmon. Anthony's butter definitely has a French connection. But then most people might think that pasta comes from Italy. <laughs> Flour and salt are blended with egg yolk and truffle oil before being kneaded. You're going to have your work cut out doing this for 300 people. Yeah, but not as much as that. No, well, maybe that not, is maybe a, not. To me, that is a nightmare. And that's, the logistics of that is a nightmare. Right, but you can handle this for 300. This is a walk in the park compared to that. At uh, Goldson, yeah. tell me, which part of the United Kingdom, or specifically the east of England, does pasta come from? Goldson ignores the jibe. He needs to get his mixture through the pasta machine, but it isn't going well. So Anthony piles on the pressure. Bit of a cock-up going on over there, Gordon. No, nothing at all. Uh, mm. I'm have... assured this is normal. It happens. He's a mission star chef. Has to be. Galton finally gets what he's after, a decent length of very thin pasta. Now he can make the shapes he wants and leave them to dry. I want to show you now. Take <laughs> yeah. notice of what Go this on. gentleman okay. has okay. to say. So you imagine the plate being there. Yep. That's going to be cooked. Mm -hmm. Lobster in there. One of those on top. Lobster sauce and a little bit of Gruyere cream on top. This is, so this is not only is it Italian, it's now a little complicated as well. Hey, he never misses the chance to stir it a little, but they both seem to be giving as good as they get. Jesting aside, though, how are they really feeling about the competition? Um, today, I'm confident because I think what I've done there, if the judges cannot taste that those flavours are really strong and as they should be, then something's wrong. Oddly enough, Anthony has a rather different view of the situation. It's a bit like being stuck in a traffic jam. You can't, if you worry, you fret and you panic, you can't get there any faster. So there's no point. There really is no point. I've just got to go with the flow and, um, Enjoy myself and hope they like my food.